Good morning, everybody. It is 7 a.m. It is Monday morning, so the day you get this vlog, it's gonna be like a little bit of like a vlogmas feel because this is literally my Monday. I have a day off. I'm so thankful for that. And first, I uh, wanna give a shout out to all the veterans out there. Thank you for allowing us to have the life that we have and the fact that you choose to make such a sacrifice for the sake of others. Um, just thank you. There's nothing else we could possibly say but thank you and honor you today. Um, today I have the day off in uh, honor of Veterans Day and we're gonna make the most of the day. It's going to be total vlogmas style. Like I said, like the day you see this is the day that I'm living. I did film though over the weekend, so there are going to be some cutaways here and there. I'll make sure to intro those. Uh, most of them are around decorating, so looking forward to that. And yeah, on my way to the gym, while I'm at the gym, I'm going to do an interval run because I will be running another half marathon in 2020 and I'm gonna keep my mileage up, but also do some speed training, which I'm doing today for about three and a half, four miles. So that's what's happening. Um, Steven is home today. He's actually taking my car into the Volvo dealership and Bubba's to the vet, so he has a busy day too. I also think he might have a dentist appointment. He's like getting everything out of the way today. I'm going to keep it simple. After the gym, I don't know what we're going to get into. Um, I feel like I had to run, oh, yes. We're going to finish styling the island for Christmas. I have a plan for it. I do have to pick up a couple things on my way home. Um, to finish that styling. I already set it up a little bit, but I'm gonna show you like a really cute idea for a centerpiece of a dining room table or an island today. Really happy with it. Uh, other than that, we're gonna get to the gym. I only live a few minutes away and I will see you after my workout. And if I can, although I'm just gonna be running, so it's not much to film. Alrighty, so I went to the gym, I did three miles um, on an interval run. Oops, sorry. Um, I did three miles on an interval run. So basically I sprinted for three miles with some walking recoveries. So with the walking recoveries, I was still under a nine minute pace. So that felt right because the walking recoveries are like a minute. So it wreaks havoc on your time. So I was still trucking it pretty fast when I was running. So happy with that. And just stopped off at Target to get some hot cocoa necessities for the dining room centerpiece, which I'm going to share with you. I'm really excited about. Steven actually walked down after I had done it, was like, I really like this. And then um, also in news, there is a storm coming, yay! We're supposed to get 10 to 12 inches of snow tonight into tomorrow, so we'll see how this shakes out. I believe it's supposed to start around noonish. It's nine o'clock now, so we shall see how this all plays out. Other than that, it's been a really nice, calm, quiet start to this day off and that's how I plan to keep it. I am back from the gym and I want to show you the centerpiece of the kitchen um, on the island. So I got this sled a couple years ago from an antique uh, store pretty reasonably priced. I love it because it has like the traditional red runners and then I just arranged some things I had around the house. So I got picked up this dish towel when Stephen and I were in Vermont. Um, it's hand painted on. It's beautiful. These you'll remember last year from Pottery Barn. I just have them set up here and then I have these two canisters. One's going to get filled with marshmallows. One's going to get filled with hot cocoa and then I have this vase filled with some flocked pine, and then this strand of bells and little furry pom-poms. I think I got this either at Target or Home Goods last year, and I just kind of draped it all around the sled. So I'm going to fill one canister with hot cocoa, one with marshmallows, and then I picked up this little cute gold spoon to have sitting somewhere arranged here on the sled. All right, I'm gonna get that done and then when I come back that will be finished. Here it is all finished. I just think it looks so cute. I I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. 
And it's cute from all sides, so. Yay. All right, that's done. Gonna get cleaned up and settled in. And that's it. I finally took Christina Brawley's recommendation and bought, um, it's kind of our Christmas gift to each other, but we're already using it, the DeLonghi um, Latissima Pro Nespresso machine. And it's the best thing I ever bought. Uh, all of you will ask, this mug is from a rifle paper company. It's the Nutcracker. But I'm gonna show you how this thing works. So in the fridge, I have the milk container. So I'm just gonna pop this in. And pull the spout to the machine. Let me grab some pods. I haven't tried these yet, but I'm going to. It's the chocolate es espresso. So I'm just gonna pop this in here, close it, and I'm gonna do one shot of espresso first because I need the extra caffeine. I'm going to go ahead and add another pod. And this time, I'm gonna hit the latte macchiato. And it's going to steam and froth the milk. I've been using, and I bought these on Amazon, just a little bit of these coffee syrups. This one is toasted marshmallow. So I'm just gonna add just a little bit of that in. And we're all set. I made my own latte at home. And now what you do, and I always just have a little measuring cup here. You just turn this to the clean position. And now this will clean itself. back over, close that, pop this out. This can go back in the fridge. And my coffee is made. It's so, so good. Mm. I'm gonna enjoy this, and then we're gonna talk some big time decorating. This year I put my stair garland at the base and I'm gonna cut away now to let you know exactly how I did it. I am going to dive into some decorating. The way I'm going to do this on weekly vlogs, there will be a little decorating series leading up into December, focusing on a different part of the house. Today we're gonna to do the staircase. We're gonna knock the staircase out, get it done, and I'm doing it completely different than I've ever done it before. I'm super excited to share it with you, so let me tell you what I'm thinking. In the past, I have always ran the garland on the railings of the staircase, but I'm super inspired to change it up because you can't necessarily see the top banister on the second tier of steps, from the living room or from downstairs in general. So this year, instead of putting it at the top, I'm going to run the garland along the bottom of the staircase on both sides. I'm gonna look above you over there. That way we can enjoy it from all parts of the house. So what I have to get us started is the awesome Vickerman uh, garland. I love this garland. I highly recommend it. I will leave it linked. It is a mess to work with, but I heard if you hit it with some hairspray, it is a little bit easier to handle. Some florist wire. And then lastly, my favorite fairy lights from Amazon. They are battery packs, so you don't need to plug them in. I have those. Some wire cutters. And lastly, my favorite mesh ribbon. It's a lot more expensive at Michael's, so I get mine on Amazon as well. I will leave that linked. But I'm going to just start in this corner here and start working my way 
down the stairs and see how far I get. So I'm just moving the branches out of the way. And I cut my wire really long because I can always trim it down later. But right now I just need enough to be able to easily work with it. I got the first piece in and it looks really good, but it's all smushed. So I'm literally going to go branch by branch. Let's see. I'm going to go branch by branch and just start fluffing, pulling them through, arranging them. And it's gonna be messy, but so worth it. I'm just gonna move them all around and really open them up. What I like to do is I'm pulling them all to the left right now, but as I get to the center, I'll start pulling them more straight up and then to the right so it looks really even. So I'll show you as soon as we get there. So still pulling them a little bit to the left, pulling them through, really just going to make it as full and beautiful as possible. I'm almost to the center. So I'm gonna keep pulling them. A couple hanging down. Some. Now, I would say this is my center point. So I'm gonna make sure right now that I'm pulling them straight out and starting to lean a little bit more to the right. This way, I might need a piece of wire right there. But if I, so yeah, let me show you, look how full and beautiful it is so far. So right now I've been kind of pushing them to the left. Now I'm going to start standing them straight up and pushing them to the right. So it looks really centered and even and like it's going from both directions. If they're all leaning one way, um, it kind of loses its real effect. So now that I'm here, I'm going to start pulling them straight out and then start manipulating them more to the right. With flocking, some of them will be stuck together. You just gotta pull them apart a little bit. The next thing to add is the uh, fairy lights. I love these because they're on a battery pack. I have them all laid out. I'm gonna try to get them. I'm gonna find the one that's like just steady on. Okay, so that's steady on. The reason I love these is because they are on a remote control. They're really cheap. Um, they're a warm white, which I like a lot more, and I don't need to plug them in anywhere. So I'm gonna tuck this up at the very top and weave them in before I put the ribbon in. That way I know I have the lights exactly where I want them. Now what I'm gonna do is add our ribbon. This is my favorite ribbon to work with just because it is so easy to work with. We're gonna do a lot of bunching and we're gonna zoom in on one. And I was never good at working with ribbon and I was always jealous of people who could do it. So I'm gonna just take a tree branch. This is gonna be my starting point and I'm gonna wrap this ribbon in that tree branch and then tuck it up and under. And now I'm just gonna take the ribbon and almost bubble it and tuck it into the garland. Bubble it and just weave it in. And what's great is as you do this, then you can pull it out and you, the thing is you want the ribbon to look like it's naturally 
just going in and out of the garland. So you don't want to be perfect. You don't want to be like patterned with it. You just want it to kind of naturally flow in and out. This is what that garland is now looking like. And now we'll go in, standing from here, I can see that I wanna bring some of these branches. And now we'll go in and fill it with ornaments and this first one will be done. No surprise here, but I'm using all shatterproof ornaments for this part of the garland. And I'm just embedding them wherever I feel like there are some bald spots in the garland. So in some places I'm putting clusters of two. So I feel like I need to be honest with you. This is the massacre that has occurred so far. I mean, it is a mess, but I'm going to get the Dyson out and clean this up and then we'll take a look at it. I ended up doing the second part of the garland, um, same process as before. And then I also ended up adding some picks that I had and some extra ornaments. So now I gotta show you how it turned out because it's, it's beautiful. So this is the staircase now. And what's really great is if you're sitting down here in the living room, you can actually see all the garland by pushing it to the base of the stairs. The handrail is still really usable and it just looks, it looks so beautiful. And I love it, my stairs are not obstructed at all. But let me show you some of the picks that I used. So I just used like these uh, glitter little like twigs and then I had these icicle ornaments and I hung them from the bottom and I did the same thing with my picks. I have them all going um, to the left and then all going to the right once I hit the center, just like I told you to do with the branches. But I just think, oh, I'm so happy with it. I'm s I love it. I absolutely love it. This is this year's coffee table scape. Once again, I was able to film putting this together. It was so easy, you really can't mess it up. I am currently working on my coffee table and I just got a rug. I measured the size of my coffee table and got a rug the exact same size. It's just a regular rug. I got it at Home Goods. It's a white faux fur. And I wanna fill this large bowl with ornaments. But here's the deal, I have these rocks in there that I keep year round. I'm gonna use a lot of silver ornaments. So all I'm doing is taking some tin foil and layering that on the bottom so the rocks don't come through. Kind of reflects the light, all of that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place larger ones in first. What's great about still having the rocks in here is that it'll help them kind of stay in place. So just going to put the largest ones around so it doesn't look like much right now, it's but just a bunch of little poofs and stuff. But I have this whole bag full of frosted picks and pine cones, and now we're gonna start placing those in. I'm first just gonna start with greenery. And what's great now is I can actually poke it down into the rocks that are in there. And I'm just gonna fill spaces some with like this, these cedar pieces, just all different. Here's some eucalyptus. I'm just pulling out whatever happens to show up. Remember I told you you could not possibly mess that up? There's the evidence. It's absolutely perfect, and it was so simple. Now I'm just gonna add some decor here and finish this up. 
So here is the final styling of the coffee table. Just this beautiful bowl, it was so easy. And then here I grabbed one of my platters because it needed some sort of warmth to it because it's just a lot of white. And I have the four wick nest candle, this really cute container matches. They actually come out the bottom, you pull a cork. This little ash catcher. And then I just added some of the sprigs to help connect these two pieces. And then I have my coasters on this side. Um, yeah, love it. And then I switched out a pillow here that says Mary. So, kind of just connects all the red together. Really, really like how this is all feeling. The main tree is yet to go up, right, Bubby? Yes, where is it? The main tree isn't up yet because we have new flooring coming for the living room and I can't put it up until that is installed. But I was able to put up the dining room tree. It's a 10 foot artificial tree. Um, all my trees in my house are 10 feet. And this one is very classic. I went really classic with so much of my decorating. So classic red, a lot of green, and then all of the hand-blown ornaments that I bought at the end of the year, they all represent something. And then we also started collecting them when we were traveling. So I got this croissant. I got this Jaguar in Milan, Italy. Steven bought this one in Italy. So yeah, a very classic Christmas tree. And I just tuck paper fans. If you look like right there, there's a paper fan. There's a fan in there. One down here, it helps fill the space. And overall, I'm so happy with how the dining room looks. The green walls were such a great way to go. All right, my friends. So I'm going to end this vlog here, but there is so much more decorating coming. We've only done a staircase and a tablescape and the island. So there is still a lot of decorating to do, as well as a whole Christmas tree decorating video once we start up once I start setting up the main tree. So stay tuned, subscribe, and get ready for the best Vlogmas we've ever had. In the meantime, I'm gonna end this like I end all my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.